Keep your hands going. Get them going. Whatever the fuck I'm saying for your next couple guys. Get her Gary French. Hey, thanks for sticking it out, uh, all six of you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's just, it's like a men's mix curling event of stand-up comedy. <laughs> Hey, uh, Valentine's week, it's uh, awesome. Anybody left here who's uh, married by any chance? Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. We got some married people. Uh, my wife and I just celebrated our, uh, recently celebrated our 10 year anniversary. We were married on 11 11 11. My idea. I figured this way I would never forget our anniversary. Hopefully. But uh, I'm glad the video cameras are going tonight because this is kind of a love letter to my, uh, uh, Valentine's uh, love letter to my wife. So you better fucking laugh, otherwise I'm uh, going to really hear it for putting this stuff out publicly. Thank you. Uh, we were married in a shopping mall. Yeah, for real, we were married in a shopping mall. I was her third husband. She was my second wife. We're each other's last. Uh, so given, given the circumstances, we decided to have a civil ceremony, and we asked the mayor of Voorhees to marry us. And earlier that year, Voorhees had moved their municipal offices into the old Echelon Mall. So we literally got married in the courthouse in the shopping mall, which I thought was really convenient because if anybody forgot a gift, they could like dash across the atrium to Macy's. <laughs> I, I met my wife uh, at a business networking function, and uh, if you've ever done any business networking, you're always encouraged to do these, uh, they call them one-on-ones, uh, to get to know each other better and uh, find if there's any business synergy or how you might be able to cross her for business. So about a week later, I asked her out, and she didn't know if it was a date or a business one-on-one. -on -one. Um, <clears throat> it didn't help matters that uh, I met her at a restaurant at Delphia's that was having a happy hour buffet. <laughs> so, you know, that really confused her. Hey, Tina, uh, help yourself to some pizza. Please, partake of the beautiful vegetable crudite. <laughs> so, <laughs> the evening kind of went on like that, and, and uh, you know, we progressed, and, and out in the parking lot, if she had any remaining doubts, whether it was a date or a one-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, they were eliminating when I stuck my tongue down her throat. Um, <laughs> I hope they were eliminated, otherwise it would have been a pretty fucking lost, uh, awkward business meeting in any case. <laughs> but uh, a few months later, I, I bought a house and uh, she was still living in the apartment complex we were both living in. And uh, I decided to uh, cop the question. So uh, we were watching the wedding of uh, Prince William and, and Kate. And I guess I got kind of swept up in the moment. And I said to her, Tina, I think you, you're gonna have to really clean your apartment thoroughly because I'd like you to come move in with me and let's get married. Mr. Romance, that's me. But hey, I said it loud and I said it with gusto. Uh, the royal family was none too happy with me. Uh, I caught a very angry glare from Sir Elton John, but fuck him, this is our moment. <laughs> because it was a spontaneous proposal, I didn't have a ring, so we went ring shopping that weekend. Uh, I took her to that bastion of fine jewelry. You know, every kiss begins with K. <laughs> Coles. <laughs> they were having a, a big jewelry sale going on, and I felt like a million bucks walking in there with that 30% off your entire purchase coupon. <laughs> burning a hole in the right pocket of my cargo shorts. So, <laughs> right the, the jewelry counter, and uh, we're looking at a couple of rings that after that beautiful 30% off discount would have been about 400 or $450. And she gets into a little bit of a huff and says, I'll be back. And she kind of walks away. And come on, guy, you know that when this happens, your mind just defaults to, oh shit, I'm in the doghouse. Well, I couldn't find her for like 15 minutes. And we kind of reunited by the jewelry counter eventually. And she was holding two uh, carded rings the kind that you get off like a spinning rack that after that 30% off would have cost me about $30. And she was mad at me all right. She was mad that I was gonna spend so much money on a ring for her. And, I'm sorry, I, I always get a little bit misty when I tell this story, forgive me. Um, I fell in love with her all over again right at that moment. 
And I, I made love to her right there. <laughs> well, not the jewelry counter, I took her in the men's fitting room. <laughs> but I mean, why wouldn't I? It was the single sweetest gesture I've ever seen from a woman in my entire life. That and she saved me a shitload of money. So, <laughs> thank you very much, I'm Gary.